Uh, I can absolutely guarantee you about it. And, and that's the one to watch, it seems to me. Now, the rest of this stuff, hell, what can the Gutsmen do in that bunch? They don't have any power. No, but if, uh, I imagine if they and the principal went to her and well, said, this is it or it. Right, but she's leaving uh, day after tomorrow, and she's going to be gone during this critical period, and I hope she'll stay away a little longer than she planned, and that'll keep her out of it. Well, and, and furthermore, she just doesn't want to do it. What would you think about the appropriate person in the committee calling her and asking her to uh, be present and do anything that she'd be willing to do on the, for the memorial evening? I don't know. I just, I just can't. Answer. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to take, I don't want her to be in the position of saying, well, nobody ever invited her. I, I, I just can't appraise that. It'd be a terrible, emotional experience yeah. for her. Well, that'd be up to her to say whether yeah. she did or not. But yeah. the question is. Should she, be Should she be asked? And uh, I would think that, uh, think about that and let's talk about it before the day is over yeah. because I'm fearful yeah. that if she weren't asked, she'd say, well, they didn't even think enough to ask me to be present. Yeah, well, it's a good question. I don't know the answer at the moment. I'll call you before the end of the day. Now, I wonder if you don't think it would be wise for you and Russ to get back uh, the speaker and Mansfield to call a group of 15, 20 people together. Uh, from the Armed Services and Foreign Relations tell them what happened. A good many of them are saying to me... Right. I've been thinking about this myself, and I thought that... Uh, they're uh, going to start an investigation yeah. if you don't, yeah. and you got Dirksen up there, and he's yeah. saying you got to study it further and say to Mansfield, now the president wants us, to, you to get the proper people, and we come in, and you say they fired at us. We responded immediately, and we took out one of their boats and put the other two running, and we kept our... We're putting our boats right there, and we're not our running our name. Our to destroy. That's right. right? We're gonna go. And I think I should also, or we should also, at that time, Mr. President, explain this Op Plan 34A, these covert operations. There's no yeah. question but what that had bearing on it. And Friday night, as you probably know, we had four TP boats from Vietnam, manned by Vietnamese or other nationals, uh, attack two islands. And we expended, uh, oh, a thousand rounds of ammunition one kind or another against them. Like we probably shot up a radar station and a few other miscellaneous buildings. And, and following 24 hours after that with this destroyer in that same area, undoubtedly led them to connect the two of them. Well, say that to Dirksen. I mean, you notice Dirksen did. says this morning that we we got a reassessor situation, right, do something right. about it. And I'd tell him that we're doing what he's right. talking about. Well, I, I was I was thinking of doing this myself in personal business, but I think your thought is better. We'll get the group together. And, you want us to do it at the White House, or would you rather do it in state or state? I believe it'd be better to do it uh, up on the hill. All right. I believe it'd be better if you'd say to Mansfield, you call a, yeah. you know, Foreign Relations okay. Armed Services okay. and, and, and uh, get the speaker to do it over his side. We'll do it. And just say it's very, I'd tell them awfully quiet, though, so they won't go in and be making much speeches. Yeah. Tell Rusk that, that that's my idea. Oh, very good. And he's in New York, so I don't know what he's got well, back Well, I just on. talked to George Ball a few minutes ago. I'll, I'll have George arrange, or at least I'll tell him that, and then I'll call the speaker and then mention myself. Now, I wish that uh, you'd give me some guidance on what we ought to say. I want to leave an impression on the background and the people we talk to over here that we're going to be firm as hell without saying something that's dangerous. Now, what do you think? Uh, uh, the people that are calling me up, uh, I just talked to a New York banker. I just talked to a fellow in Texas. They all feel... But the Navy responded wonderfully, and that's good. But they want to be damn sure I don't pull them out and run, and they want to be damn sure that we're firm. That's what all the country wants, because Goldwater's raising so much hell about how he's going to blow them off the moon, and they say that we oughtn't to do anything that the national interest doesn't require, but we sure ought to always leave the impression that if you shoot at us, you're going to get hit. Well, I think you would want to instruct George uh, Reedy this morning at his news conference to say that you, you personally have ordered the, the Navy to carry on the routine patrols uh, off the coast of North Vietnam uh, to add an additional destroyer to the one that has been carrying on the patrol to provide an air cap and to issue instructions to the commanders to destroy any uh, force that attacks our force in international waters. Bob, if I you don't mind, way. if you don't mind, call Walter Jenkins and tell him sure. that you won't dictate this to I'll me to right give to my people or George Reedy because yeah. I'm over at the mansion with yeah. some folks here. I'll do it right now. Okay. Thank you.